Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Marvin and this is how I moved to Canada. First and foremost, let me put this out there that I am no immigration consultant. Um, everything you're about to hear is purely from my experience and my experience only so i came to canada in fall of 2022 and that's september 2022 and let me just put this out there that before you even start um, applying for schools to come to canada i you should know why you want to come to Canada and why you want to study the particular program in which you are applying for. So my journey started um, way back in 2020, right? Um, I did a lot of research into the schools I wanted to apply to and the kind of programs they offered. So I did mechanical engineering um, during my undergrad and I wanted to tour in that that's that field, you know, not specifically a master's in mechanical engineering, but I found myself in the energy industry or the energy sector because I worked there for four years after graduating from my undergrad. So I wanted to pick a program in that direction. So that guided me into finding out the kind of course I wanted to do or the kind of program I wanted to do and in turn helping me to look for schools that offered those courses. I watched a lot of YouTube videos on students, international students who have moved to Canada, the processes, how they went about it. It was, I would say, a whole year of research and finding out information. So guys, there are lots of information on the internet, on YouTube as well. And if you look, you are going to find it. It's not so much of a problem. You just have to devote time to look for what you want to find. From 2020 to 2021, I was busy looking for information. I was looking for schools. I was looking for um, um, schools with the highest acceptance rates for international students. I was also looking for schools with the lowest tuition fees, you know, that I could afford. So after one year, I knew the schools that I wanted to apply to. So I applied to four schools. I started applying for the schools in October of 2021. I applied for four schools, um, Texas State University in the US, I applied to Ottawa University, University of Calgary, and Memorial University of Newfoundland. So I would say I used from October to November of 2021 to apply to all the schools, all these four schools. And Memorial University came first, I think um, on December 21st of 2021, I got an acceptance letter from Memorial University of which I was supposed to accept but I sent the school an email um, to push my the deadline further because I wanted to wait for the other schools I applied for so I could compare and see which one best suited me. So by February of 2022 I had gotten all all like responses from all the four schools. I got one rejection and three acceptance. So after carefully considering these three options, I settled on Memorial University. So that's when my journey for the visa application began. In order to accept my admission from Memorial University, I had to pay 2000 Canadian dollars as deposits to secure my seat. So I paid through a visa card and an email receipt was sent to me. So from February to March of 2022, 
I used that period to secure all the necessary documents that I was going to need to apply for my study permits. Yeah, so I applied for my study permit on April 13th of 2022. Now, to apply for a study permit, the first document you fill out is the application form for study permit made out of Canada. So that's the first immigration form you fill on the portal. So right after that, the first document you upload is your letter of acceptance. Now, the letter of acceptance is the admission letter you receive from your school, so which has which states that you've been admitted um, into the institution and it gives a breakdown of your school fees for the duration of the program. The second document I uploaded was my travel document, which was my passport and um, pages of stamped visas, right? So I scanned them and then I uploaded them into that column. So the third document I uploaded was um, proof of funds. And guys, proof of funds is very, very important. So IRCC expects you to be able to show your first year tuition, the, the full amounts for your first year tuition and extra 10,000 Canadian dollars, which is supposed to be your for your living expenses here in Canada for the first year. So in this case, my dad was my sponsor. So my dad provided a sponsorship letter showing that he was my dad and I was his son and he was going to provide for me financially for the whole two years, my whole two years stay here in Canada. And he provided his bank statements. He provided landed property documents car documents, um, tenancy agreements, because he had apartments where he had rented out. So the tenancy agreements here yeah, showed that he was getting income or money from those apartments. And I, for one, also provided um, my pay slips for the past six months, because I had been working and I owned the car as well. So I provided my car documents you know and guys i would always advise that don't just provide bank statements but if you add other documents like you know landed property documents you know other things that can buttress the whole financial financial thing is the best and it will show to the immigration officer that you are more than capable to financially provide for yourself. So the fourth thing you upload is a digital photo of yourself. Now with the digital photo, there are measurements provided in the portal in terms of size and the framing of the photo. So you need to um, read that and go to any photo studio that does like that kind of size of digital photos upload scan upload into your portal so the last document you need to upload is additional information or additional documents guys and in this column you are supposed to provide any document at all that you know is going to buttress your whole study permit application and guys, during a study permit application, you don't have any interview with any visa officer. So your letter of explanation or what we call the statement of purpose is really important, guys. It's really, really important. So that is your interview because the visa officer is going to go through and that is what is going to tell them why you want to come to Canada. Why are you choosing um, this school? the school like you've chosen or you've been admitted to, why the program, what you intend to do after you are done with your studies, you know, so it's really important. Maybe in the subsequent video, I'm going to read out my letter of explanation. Yeah, so your letter of explanation or your statement of purpose, I provided my CV or resume, which was in the Canadian format. Um, I provided my degree certificates and transcripts. I provided um, a police report and I always advise it shouldn't be older than a month. 
is very important and i had already written ielts so i provided the ielts um, certificate as well and i had done internships abroad so i provided all those documents as well and last but not least um the national id of my sponsor in this case which was my dad so yeah after uploading all those documents um, i paid uh, a steady permit fee of 150 dollars canadian dollars and then i paid um, a fee for my biometrics which was 85 canadian dollars yeah so in total i paid 235 canadian dollars and in less than 24 hours i received um, a letter to go and do my biometrics at the vfs office so you book with the vfs office through their website for your biometrics so that's what i did and on april 19th i went for my biometrics it didn't take too long it took like 30 minutes and then I was done with my biometrics. So I applied on April 13th, did my biometrics on April 19th. So on June 24th, I received um, a notice from IRCC to go and do my medicals. So I went for my medicals and in Ghana, we normally do the medicals at Akai House Clinic. It's in cantonments around the American Embassy so i went there with my you know my medical request um, letter and in less than an hour i was done with my medicals and they were going to send or forward your medical straight to ircc so i did my med i got the medical request on the 24th of june 2022 and i did my medicals on the 29th of June 2022. So on July 28th, 2022, I received my passport request. So I took my passport to the VFS office and delivered it to them. And on August 5th, I received a letter saying my visa was ready, my passport was ready for collection. So that is when I went to the VFS office to collect my passport and I had my visa stamped in my passport, guys. At that moment, it felt so fulfilling. I was so happy. You have no idea. It was like a whole journey. And guys, it's, 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 it's not like so difficult. It's not impossible. You can always, you can always do it. You just need the right information and efforts you know you need to put in efforts you know to get whatever you are looking for so yeah um, i got my 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 passport back and i had my visa stamped in it and school was reopening on the 7th of september so i booked my flight ticket um for 5th of september so by 7th of september i landed in canada guys so i'm going to be posting more videos so don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any video you would want me to do in particular please comment in the comment section below thank you guys for watching see you soon